K2000 Nissan Quest with a 3.3 liter engine. And I want to take this opportunity to review two sections that I have in my ebook. Uh, the first one being how to do a sound test with a fuel injector. Um, we suspect we have a fuel injector problem on the number two cylinder. It has a number two cylinder misfire in memory. Uh, I'm going to leave the scan tool stuff out of this. But the first step we want to do, and obviously I'm not going to be able to show you this part on the camera, but just use a long screwdriver as a stethoscope. And what we want to do is we want to listen to that number two injector and compare it to known good injectors next to it, which would be uh, the front two cylinders are firing. And so uh, we do hear some uh, clicking on that number two injector, but when you listen to the next two over, these two are way louder than this first one, suggesting that any noises we hear would just be noises that are being transferred through the fuel rail. So number one is it failed the sound test. And so the next thing that I'm gonna do is show you some very quick electrical checks that we can do on this number two fuel injector. Okay, so step number one, we don't wanna rush this job and put a fuel injector in the car. We wanna make sure before we do that, that we have a good power feed and good control of this injector. So the first step, just using a uh, multimeter lead and um, uh, back probing the positive wire for the fuel injector. And we'll take a look at the meter. And you see we're reading battery voltage on that feed wire, 14.25 volts. That tells me that my feed is good. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer it over to the control wire. This is a ground side switch fuel injector. And this is my control wire voltage. It's 0.24 of a volt, 0.27. And so for those of you that have my ebook, you can uh, actually refer to section three, which is output solenoids. And what we're gonna follow for this one would be control voltage is fixed low. So it's a ground side switch circuit that should be being pulsed on and off and it is fixed low. Okay, some of our concerns with a, a ground side switch circuit fixed low would be that this control circuit is shorted to ground and that would be either the control wire or the computer itself or it is simply an open injector coil. And so there's a very quick test we can do and that's gonna be to connect the test light to battery positive, which I am already. When I find a ground, you see my test light lights. I'm gonna to touch this test light on my, um, on my multimeter lead. You see that test light is blinking on and off. That's telling me that this circuit is not shorted to ground and that my driver in my computer is good and so is my control wire. And so what this tells us is we have an open injector coil, no question about it. Okay, final test, which really isn't necessary in this case, but we'll do it just to back ourselves up, is we're gonna do an ohm check of this injector. And uh, if, if what we did and what we're saying is correct, this is gonna show us an open injector coil. And so just to show you my connections, I have one lead um, alligator clipped on the one side and I'm touching this other pin on the other side. And I'll show you my multimeter. That is OL and I am on an M ohm scale, that's mega ohms. And uh, here I'll touch the leads together just so you see that this is actually working. There's the leads touched together and there's my leads on the injector terminals and you can see that this is in fact an open injector coil so again nice review for my fuel injector section and a nice review for section three ground side switched output solenoids um, just thought it'd be a good one for you guys that have the book and are following along to see a live one that's it bad injector open injector causing a number two cylinder misfire. Yeah.